In this video, we're going to be working on an Xbox One X that came in for no signal. Customer says that he can turn the console on, but nothing comes on the screen. So uh, we inspected the HDMI port and uh, there was some damage onto the port. We changed the port, but we still do not have a signal. The next thing I'm going to do is look into the retimer chip. A retimer chip accepts both uh, analog and digital. It extracts the data and it retransmits the data onto the HDMI port. So if there's anything wrong with this chip, then nothing is going to get transmitted, or maybe a wrong signal is going to get transmitted to the HDMI port. And uh, like we have another console that we're going to be working on next where you see red lines on the screen. HDMI port looks good, so uh, my guess is that uh, that one will also have a bad retimer chip. So let's start by replacing the retimer chip on this console here. Okay, so the retimer chip is out. And again, pin number one is on the bottom right. Let's put that chip on the side. And let's apply a fresh layer of leaded solder. Now we're gonna grab a retimer chip. The chip will be sold on our website in case somebody needs one. Oh, right there. And pin number one should be on the bottom right, like this. So, airspeed, let's do it at uh, maybe 70 or even 50. and temperature about maybe 380. Job is done. So on this console we changed both the HDMI and the retimer chip. So everything is nice and clean and the retimer chip is right over here. So time for Big Bus to put this back together and we'll have to wait and see.
why Big Boss reassembles the Xbox. Let's go ahead and work on this flash drive that we got in this morning. It came in for data recovery, USB 2 flash drive. Let's take a look under the microscope and see what's going on. I do see that the socket is broken. Now, if you look at the four pins of the USB socket, it looks like two of them broke off the board. Uh, that's not going to be a problem. Oh, wait a minute. Is the USB socket good from the inside? Can we use the same one? Yes, we should be able to use the same socket. We just have to run some jumper wires to fix those two broken pins. So let's quickly do that. Customer also brought a backup flash drive so we can transfer the information over. This pin here is connecting to this resistor and this pin here is connecting to this resistor. So we need to run the wire from here to here and from here to here. Let me put that board in the board holder so it doesn't wobble when we're working on it. Okay, so I'm not trying to make this wire perfect. I'm not trying to make the socket perfect. I just want to do it in a way where we can read from the flash drive, recover data, and transfer the data over to the backup drive. So this is done. And let's do this one here. Okay, so we're going to plug this into the computer and hope for the best. Let's test to make sure there's a good connection. Between this point and this point, and yes. And yes. So we're going to plug it in. It's being recognized as a drive, but uh, we cannot access it. Unplug. I'm going to have to try this on a Mac, because if this is a Mac formatted drive, then it could be the reason why we cannot read it. Okay, I have a Mac right over there. We're going to try it over there. But before I do, I want to check on the pins one more time to make sure everything is good. Okay. We're going to try the drive on a Mac. Oh, and Big Boss is trying out the Xbox. That's already done. So let's see if we're going to get a working Xbox, if we're going to get any signal on the screen. And yes, it's working. So as you can see, the Xbox is working and the retimer chip fixed the problem. Great, awesome, awesome. Uh, we're going to do the rest of the Xboxes that we have. I may combine all in one video, but for now, I just want to test the flash drive to see if it's working. We're going to remove the HDMI cable from the Xbox and we're gonna plug it in the MacBook that we have here so we can test the flash drive So let's see if that drive will work on the Mac It was recognized by the PC, but I was not able to read any files. So 
maybe it's a Mac formatted drive. See the, the light is flashing on the drive. Okay, so the drive is not recognized. I thought I would do a couple of Xboxes in this video, but Big Boss has to leave and uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Right now he's opening up the second Xbox so I can work on it while he's out. For now, that's it for this video. We fixed the Xbox by changing the retimer chip and we previously changed the HDMI port on that Xbox. Uh, as for the flash drive, I'm gonna have to replace the socket because I have a strong reason to believe that the socket Maybe the problem, maybe it's internally damaged. Uh, I'll change the socket and then we can try again to see if we are able to read any files from that drive. So I'll put it on the side for now. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else tomorrow.